Wow, what a night taking a look at that heavy traffic on Interstate 94 as we look off to the west from the Valley Skycam and uh, heavy traffic as typical for this time of the night. Roads are a little slippery. Luther Family Forward sponsoring our Weather Kid program and tonight Josie Honer joins us all the way from New York Mills. Josie, tell us a little bit about yourself. What grade are you in? I'm in seventh grade. Seventh grade. And do you have a favorite subject in seventh grade? Um, my favorite subject is history and science. My teachers are pretty cool. Pretty cool teachers are the best kind of teachers. A anybody else you want to say hi to tonight? Um, I would like to say hi to the whole New York Mills family and friends. Very good. Give them a wave. Now let's talk about this weather. Are you a big fan of the cold weather we've been having lately? Uh, not so much. Not so much. Why don't you go ahead and point out to everyone in Fargo what's going on with temperatures right now? It's 70 degrees, but it feels like negative 2. Very good. And how fast is that wind blowing right now? It's blowing five miles per hour. Very good. So that's not too bad. Not a big need for a lot of hairspray today. Now we're looking out to the west. Why don't you point out a couple temperatures? Just pick a town and let people know what their temperature is out there. Um, in Devil's Lake, it's five degrees. Very good. In Jamestown, it is eight. Oh, uh, natural. Now let's swing over this way and look in your hometown area out towards New York Mills uh, and give us a few temperatures in western Minnesota. Um, it's in Detroit Lakes. It's 12 degrees. Good. In Fergus Falls, it's 10 degrees. Good. And way up north in Roseau, it, it is, is 5 degrees. Yeah, it's nice and chilly, but everybody has warmed up thanks to some winds. Now, satellite shows us clouds. That's what the white stuff is. We don't have a lot of that right now, but when we look off to the west, what's this blue stuff you see on the radar out there? Uh, snow. Snow. Why don't you point out a town or two that might be seeing some snow out to the west? Go ahead and let me uh, know where it's snowing. Oh, uh, Winston. Okay, good. Williston is seeing a little bit of snow. And what what is this green stuff? We talked about that again. Uh, it's rain. Rain in Montana in the month of December. Not something you typically see. So they must have some warm temperatures at the ground there. But we're not quite warm enough for rain here. Here is our forecast. Now, as we go through the overnight hours and head towards 10 o'clock tonight, um, our temperatures stay about the same. But what do you see changing out to the west? Um... It's getting, like, colder. Yeah, colder. And what's all that blue stuff we see there? Uh, snow. Some snow starts moving in. Now, let's push the button here and advance the time till tomorrow morning. We'll see where the snow goes. We'll take a step back, too, so we can see as we set this into motion. We had to bed tonight. No snow this evening. Overnight, by daybreak, what towns might be seeing some snow falling on them? Um, Grand Forks Good. and Fargo. Yes, yeah, so we'll have the snow moving right over the Red River Valley. And where the dark blue is, dark blue versus light blue. Do you remember what the difference is? Um, dark blue is heavier and light blue is lighter. Okay, so some of the heavier bands of snow will be pushing right over the valley at drive time. Now, it will be accumulating, and our western counties could even have an inch or two on the ground as we get things started. So, temperature-wise, why don't you point out a couple temperatures for the morning? Okay, so in Detroit Lakes, it's 11 degrees. Good. In Jamestown, it is 12 degrees. And in uh, Grand Forks, it is 7 degrees. Very good. Now, as we head toward the middle of the day, let's watch where the snow goes now. Okay, so as we're heading towards lunchtime, point out a couple of areas that could be seeing some snow. Uh, Bemidji will be seeing some snow. Good. And some in Detroit Lakes. Good. Fargo. So a chance at some midday snow in places like Purim and New York Mills as well, all the way up towards Roseau. So still snowing by midday. Then in the afternoon, that snow finally exits. What about temperatures in the afternoon? Does it look uh, really cold or what do you think? Uh, kind of in the middle, you know, it's not so bad. It is funny because <laughs> 15 a few weeks ago would have been very bad, but yeah. 15, not so bad. You're right. 15 to 20 for afternoon temperatures. Snow out of here. North winds tomorrow evening if you're out and about. How much snow and who might see the heavier snow as you take a look at this graphic? Um, about like Valley City and Fargo. Good. Valley City, Fargo, all the way up to Rosa where you see those dark blue colors. How much snow will they have to shovel? Uh, like one to three inches. Okay, now let's take a step back here and let's look at that uh, that New York Mills area. Can you see there near Detroit Lakes? What do you think for them in the light blue? Probably like maybe two inches? Yeah, a trace to two inches. So a little bit less down there. Here is your bus stop forecast uh, for the morning. Why don't you let people know what they can expect? Uh, nine degrees and the, the wind is 50. 5 to 15 miles per hour. Good. A few snow showers right at drive time in the morning. And then after school, what do you expect then? Uh, 16 degrees and wind is 10 to 15 miles per hour. Very good. Now, that was the Fargo forecast. Point out the uh, temperatures tomorrow in the afternoon across the area. Uh, in Grand Forks, it would be 
12 degrees. Uh -huh. In Fargo, it's 19. And in Thief River, River Falls, it's 14 degrees. Very good. And now let's take a look at a picture uh, uploaded. And here's a wise owl sitting on top of the light out there. Thanks so much, Dale, for taking the time to upload your photo. The planning forecast. Now, as we go through Saturday, what happens? What's our temperature look like then? A negative one degree. Yeah, it gets nasty cold out there with falling temperatures throughout the day. Does it get better on Sunday morning? What do you see there, Josie? Uh, not really. No, 20 below. That's pretty chilly. Uh, make sure you're wearing your jackets and mittens. How about as we head into the day on Monday? What does it look like then? Um, negative 10 degrees or 10 degrees. Oh, 10 degrees. Yeah, yes. above now. So that's yeah. good. Okay, follow me this way. You did a great job. Next week, we actually have a shot at 20 degrees above again. So we warm things up as we go through the middle of the week. But uh, still a few chances of flurries here and there. Man, Josie, you did such a wonderful job. Mm -hmm. A meteorologist in the making, I think. Yeah, I think so, too. She yeah. does like her math and science, mm -hmm. and she likes history as well. Is that right? Yes. Very now add public speaking to that. She's doing pretty yeah, good at that. Yeah, I think so. All good right. job.